Hello guys, hello guys, welcome to Teske Kalo. Hoping that all of you are doing good. Hoping that you are great. I mean, I'm right, Buffy, to just bring you some updates as usual. Today, we are going to be talking about Coach Roland Mokwena and Coach Siad Ramovic. As they continue to exchange words, they continue to have their Angazongzotin. Angazongzoti beefy or Abazwani or something, but it's still off. You guys remember. Mamelut Sundowns played against TS Galaxy in the Culling Knockout Cup. They played against TS Galaxy, right? And they lost that game on penalties. TS Galaxy started by scoring two goals. Second half, I think Sundowns came back and they equalized, right? That was it. And then it was penalties and then Sundowns lost the game. But what happened is that after the game, the, the, the Mamelut Sundowns coach, rather, Roland Mukwena, coach Roland Mukwena, came out to say, Something like along these lines, Wuti, we didn't play well, we lost the game. One of the reasons is because we didn't have the players that were representing Ibafana Bafana. If you guys remember, Bafana Bafana was playing and then I think it was the following day, it was Sundowns. So Sundowns had to use other players because the other ones, Abuzwane, Biba, Jalila, in national team. So Coach Lon Mukwena said, obviously, he needed those players, they were not there. And maybe that's one of the reasons why they didn't do well and so and so. And Sia Dramovic responded to that, if you guys remember well. And he said, you are disrespecting me and my TS Galaxy players. You are disrespecting my colleagues. You are disrespecting TS Galaxy as a whole. And most importantly, you are disrespecting your own players. This is what he responded to tell coach Ryan Mukwena. To say that, if you are saying, Guti, the ones that were playing are not good enough, because the other ones are, we are representing the national team. Then what are you saying about these ones? What are you saying about these players? So, Coach Rulan Mukwena, before the game against Ilamazia, which was against, they were playing, yeah, before the game against Ilamazia, yes, which they won by six goals to one. He had these words to tell. So, before the game, he said, you are all familiar with some of the things that my colleague at TS Galaxy has said. The colleague is Ubani Usia Dramovic, right? He went further to say, and I picked up the phone and I called him. I called him direct and I raised my displeasure. Do you get that? So now, before I even give you the response, which is quite lengthy, coming from Coach Usia Dramovic, I've just established or let you know that Coach Rulan Mugena revealed that he called this coach and they had a conversation privately and he expressed his displeasure now coach sedramovic has responded to that and it's quite a lengthy lengthy um you know response please stick with me as i take you through it and this is what he had to say i did not come to south africa to argue with anyone my goal was not to fight with anyone i did not come here to make any headlines i came here that my team improves that my club improves that maybe one day when i leave my club the new coach will find a top club and he can you know still continue to have even more success that is why i came to south africa that is my goal he went further to say Guti, if somebody like he which is coach Ulan Mukwena, did to undermine or disrespect my players, their hard work that they do every day. And if we win a game against them, we should all know that they are spending over 150 million rands over the last two seasons, you know, for players. It means that they have a squad with just unbelievable quality. And if a coach loses against us, that he brought players from maybe NFD or from under 21 and they see that TS Galaxy does not have this financial power. But we have to find ways, you know, in which we can succeed. And I think that we do a very good job. So if I see my players every day and how hard they work, I will always protect them. I will always raise my voice if somebody does not. You know, it doesn't matter who it is, rather. If somebody disrespects my players, disrespects my value, disrespects the club, disrespects, you know, the staff, my value, and this is what he did. Who did? Coach Rulani Mokwen, right? He goes further to say, 
you know he came with that cheap excuse to say Uti, he didn't have his seven players so it means that it, he you know it means that he disrespected you know first of all his own players that played and when you see his own players that they had on the field against us they were top class with this team he can also win at the league you know but if he feels that he cannot have a plan b it also speaks to his quality and i don't want to go there and i don't care i care that we have principles i have values i care about my players and no one will disrespect the hard work that they did on that day to win against sundowns you know so you get the image already Uti. yeah you know zakal he goes further to say Uti, when you talk to someone in private like when i started the video he revealed that he called the coach of ts galaxy and they talked privately and he said that he expressed his displeasure so this is the response when you talk to someone in private it should stay with what you talk and you cannot go then afterwards again into the public and say i did this and this and now we have to finish the sentence so you get that guys he's starting there to say why did you even tell the public when you called me privately if it was private and you told me this and this you shouldn't have even told the public what you called me you know he goes further than to say so rulani didn't call me after it happened it was on the 13th of december i raised my voice that he disrespected my players he disrespected me he disrespected my club and the staff i didn't attack him i just protected my players i'll not let anyone disrespect them after a month in 29th of december we were then in a bus to mombela kuliso mutao came to me and when he saw me uh, in the mall he asked me would the coach when are you going to buy me you know with a smile and the coach responded would say i can't buy you because obviously you're too expensive and mutao asked guti then why do you fight with my coach and this is what uh, sidramovic said and he says guti it is not my goal to fight with anybody i explained uh, to him exactly the same things that i explained to you i will let you know i will not let anyone and please tell your coach to stop undermining your colleagues and they are awake and stop undermining my players what happened is that after then i got a call from the coach Ren Mugwena, during the bus drive to Mombela. i picked up the phone and then he started to yell he was screaming and he told me uh i will just make it short because he spoke to me for like 10 minutes with a lot of nonsense <laughs> but what he told me it was who uh, the f word who the f word i'm not gonna use the f word guys i'm just gonna say who the f are you to come to my f country and talk to me like this i just quote him right do you know who my parents are be careful how you talk because you are in my f country and after that i told him would i do not care who your parents are and then he dropped the phone this was his high standard of morality uh, I was very disappointed, I can tell you, because I think to get treated from a colleague like this is very, very small-minded talk. I would like to clarify now, Uti Sundowns is a beautiful club with high standard of morale and the players are also top. It's just a case of his behavior and me now. Again, I have principles and I have values and I stick to them. Yo guys, this was a very lengthy video. I hope you guys got the whole picture and understood everything. Me, from my point of view, as I'm doing this video, I get exactly what happened. I don't know, obviously, of the accuracy because, again, you guys talked privately. So the other one will come and say this and then you will come and say this, you know. But bottom line is the coaches must not fight, man. You know, they must not fight. And uh, again, that comment from Coach Rulan Mukwena, I think he shouldn't have said would he my players are playing for Bafana Bafana you know these ones that we're playing what do you, you know I didn't like that comment when I said it from that moment last year which this was not good remarks from a coach because it looks like he's undermining these ones that we're playing and they, they did well so that's just about it see Dramovic is not happy and I can tell you with hey uh, uh, they're not on good terms the two coaches but yeah it is what it is you know we'll see uh going forward if coach run and i will respond or what and please tell me your thoughts you know what do you think about this beef is it beef i don't know what it is 